guys, welcome back to today's video, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my injuries, injury, technically, and, um, why I exaggerated so much in my last video. And no, I will not be waiting till Thanksgiving to upload videos, I'm going to get, be back at my regular video up schedule, video uploading schedule, which is every week, or more. I needed a break, and then uh, I got this really bad infection in my ear. Um, me being the dumbass wannabe that wants everything done all at once and that's so impatient, I decided to get four piercings at once, which was way too much trauma for my ear. We got it done the right way. It was fine. I take care. I took care of it. I cleaned it every day, twice a day. I knew it was going to hurt, and then it started swelling up, and I was like, hey, um, I think this is infected. So I go to my mom. She got her cartilage done, so I got two piercings in my cartilage and two on my earlobe. Um, I had to take one out of each. I had to take one of the cartilages out and one of the earlobes out. I'm not that upset about it. I kind of knew it was coming because of my own dumbass fault. And so I guess the way it started, my parents went to Vegas for a week, and myself wanting to get it done and surprise my mom with four fucking piercings decided to get it done the day before she came home. So that's what I did with my sister. We went to Sally's, got a gun. I know you're supposed to not do it with a gun, but we were on a budget and, you know, didn't want to go to a tattoo parlor because they're fucking expensive. Like, it's $30 a piercing. And... I just thought, hey, you know, let's just get it done. So I got the, we got four ear, ears, we got the lobes, and I was like, in my mind, I'm like, you know, she said the cartilage was going to hurt worse, so I'm like, maybe I should wait on this and just deal with the lobes. My sister's like, well, you wanted them all done. I'm like, yeah, I thought about it for a while, but I was like, I think I should just wait, you know, and she's like, come on, let's just do it. I'm like, okay, whatever, and I didn't think anything of it, because, I mean, my sister has 18 fucking piercings. So, I'm like, hey, she says it's experience, let's do this. So, um, I did that. Um, it didn't start swelling up till Saturday. My parents came home Friday, I got them pierced on Thursday. So, it didn't swell up till Saturday and at that point I'm like hey I think I got an infection my mom looks at it oh yeah it was my second piercing on my cartilage and you know that was great I thought hey if I just you know take care of it clean it extra more than the others um it will be good so I cleaned it with hydrogen peroxide because the ear the stuff they gave me at the store at Sally's didn't wasn't working so I started cleaning it with hydrogen peroxide and if some of you know if you clean it like, every other hour, it will start to burn your ear if you clean it so much with hydrogen peroxide. So I I did that for two days. Every other hour, it had started to burn, so I'm like, hey, okay, whatever. And it was starting to look better, too, so I was like, you know, I think I can take a break and just do it twice a day like I was. And it was looking good for two days. And then, out of nowhere, the bottom earlobe swelled up the size of a grape. It was to the point where my ear was almost going to fall off. So we had to go to a doctor yesterday. And and yesterday was Tuesday. No, when, Monday. Yesterday was Monday. So we go to the doctor on Monday and they said, they'll give you this medicine. It should help. And if it's not better, we need to take them out. And at that point, I was like, it's not going to get better. Like, I knew in my soul. And I was like, I know it's not going to get better. I'm like, take him out. And the doctor's like, what? And I'm like, take him out! Like, it was painful, like, just to have him in. I'm like, take them out. Get some numbing something. And they're like, well, you can't really numb your ear. And I'm like, fuck, this is going to hurt like hell. And, oh my lord, they d it did. But they did put some freeze stuff on it, so they freeze it really quick. It only lasts for a couple seconds. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I thought you, like, wait, like, three seconds and then you take whatever it is out. Nope! Freeze it immediately and I screamed bloody murder. Like, bloody murder. And another doctor literally came in and they're like, uh, what's going on? Is everything okay? It sounds like you're giving birth in here. And 
they're like, we're taking her earring out. And the doctor looks at him like, ooh, yeah, I, I think you made a good choice taking it out today. And I'm like, yep, mm-hmm. And, like, I am sobbing at this point. Like, I have dealt with a lot of pain in my life, and I have a very high pain tolerance. But that hurts like hell. And, oh, it hurt. So I'm like, shit! I said it right in front of the doctor, and they're like, you okay, honey? And I'm like, I'm fine, do the other one! I was like, just do the other one, why it still hurts, and just get it over with. And at the end of this, I am sobbing, like, sobbing! And we had a, and the doctors were like, okay, we're gonna go get you some ibuprofen. And I'm like, give me the whole fucking bottle. Obviously, you can't do that, because you'll overdose. But they gave me three ibuprofen, and I'm like, okay, you know, it's fine. <laughs> So I'm literally sobbing for two damn hours, and I recorded that video in the doctor's office. So, I, it, like, I was sobbing. And, of course, my, I, my mom, she fractured, well, almost fractured her hand, almost broke her hand at Vegas. So they had to do an x-ray there. And I accidentally, I was like, give me your hand, this is gonna hurt. So I squeezed her bad hand, and she, oh, I'm sorry, Mom. But they got an x-ray. Everything's fine. She just um, sprained it very badly. So my mom's hand's fine. Um, it wasn't when I squeezed it, because, like, I hurt her hand. Like, my handprint was on her hand for, like, an hour. I'm like, ooh, that does not look good. And it swelled up after. Like, it was already swelled up, but it swelled up. And I'm like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> So, everything's fine. My ear's feeling a lot better. Um, in the video, I over-exaggerated because I was in pain at the time. And it does not hurt anymore, which I'm very surprised. I thought it'd hurt, like, after a couple days. But it doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like they've been in there for days. But the I still have two, like, blood marks where they took the earring out. But, yeah, I was bleeding pretty bad for a couple hours. Put some Neosporin on it. That stopped the bleeding. But, um, yeah, other than that, everything's fine. I uh, just wanted to clear that up for everybody who's wondering. Um, it wasn't like I broke my arm injury, um, but it did hurt. It really did hurt. And um, to all the people that are a dumbass like me, do not get four piercings at a time. Um, if you're that stupid, at least go to a tattoo parlor. Um, yeah, um... So then my mom, oh, uh, there's more to the story. So then my mom, she says, did you text your sister? And I'm like, no, why the fuck would I do that? She's like, well, it was kind of her fault. And I'm like, no, it was not. It was my fault. Wait, is this an Xbox? Oh my gosh, guys, they imitated an Xbox. Sorry, off topic, but look. Look, it's an Xbox. It's an Xbox 360. Ooh. Okay, moving on. So, I'm like, it wasn't her fault, it's, it was my dumbass fault in the first place. She's like, yeah, you're right, but your sister's the one that pierced you and got, went to do that, and she's gotten them all the time. She should have known. I'm like, yeah, I guess, but I'm not going to text her, and she's like, why? It's like, it's not her fault that my ear got infected. It's my responsibility. I need to take, what are you doing? I'm sorry, my rabbit is on my paint shelf, and I'm, do you want up here? Is that what you want? Okay, let me scoot out the chair. You can come up here if you want. So, at that point, I'm like, you know, it's my responsibility. It's not my sister's. I should have looked it up first or something. But, nope, I'm, I'm a dumb dumb and I didn't. And it's not my sister's fault. So, I just took responsibility for my actions. And my mom's like, okay, whatever. At least you're responsible about it. But, um... Until my sister sees me, she has no idea this has happened. Yeah, so, um, until then, I'm gonna sit here and wait. Okay, I'm done waiting. Um, yeah, I just want to clear that up for everyone who was wondering about my injury. It's fine, everything's all cleared up, um, for the most part, and... Other than that, I over-exaggerated in my last video. Like, at the time, it hurt, and I thought it was going to hurt for, like, a month. And it doesn't. It doesn't. So I thought I'd make a video clearing everything up so you guys don't worry too much. 
But, um, yeah, sorry about the whole, I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm good. Um, I'll be getting back to my regular AJ uploading schedule. And other than that, I think we're good. I will see you next video. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you next video. Bye!